welcome to this week's Wax Pack Dad. Woo! Hey, the more you know, because no one's half the battle. And speaking of knowing half the battle, and, and honestly, I got a weird one for you today. I've always wanted to buy one of these. It is a fun bag. Woo! Fun. 1982 uh, Dunross. So, I know that there's some things in here. This is kind of one of those uh, PSA, public service announcements, not PSA, the card grading, that like, after I bought it, I was like, I've made a terrible mistake. But, you know, sometimes you just click on eBay and you're like, I eh, gotta have it. Anyway, I'm probably going to be disappointed. You may be disappointed. But we don't know what we're going to get in here. So, um, let's open them up. Let's see what happens. I don't know if you've ever opened it fun bag before or whatever. Some of them can be really cool from the 70s. You can get Star Wars cards and cool stuff. You know, I I have no idea. Anyway, let's do it. That I try to showcase a team or um, a player or things like that of uh, cards. Um, this is some of my favorite non-sports cards. Um, we've got from the Desert Storm. We've got General Storm and Norman Schwarzkopf. R.I.P. Man, Four Star General, and we've got some 1977 Star Wars stickers, and which we pulled a little bit ago in 1976 Marvel, that is Conan the Barbarian. So, with that being said, let's open this guy up, let's see what we have here. Um, it was $7.50 of value for $1.29, so take that, Kmart. So let's see what we get in here so I can put these out. Like I said, I, I'm not expecting to, you know, pull a Ricky Henderson rookie card out of this. So first of all, we have got these jumbo packs. Um, I don't know what year these are, but we'll see. Maybe there's some value there. Probably not, but hey, let's, let's open them up and find out. Then we've got, these are kind of the fun ones. These are the rando packs. So you never know what you're going to get. They could be baseball. They could be a movie. Um, they could be Grease, um, or Grease 2 in this particular case. Um, so these guys are here. And then, oh boy, BMX packs. Okay, all right. Well, I don't know anyone that races it, but uh, I did watch the movie Rad in the 80s, so I might open one of these or two of these up here. Maybe one of you guys likes BMX racing. That's awesome. So well, let's do that here. We'll start with this from 1982. Oh, and it looks like they've got a one of the... Don Ross um, puzzle pieces. So that's exciting. I know what you're thinking. You're like, this guy will rip literally anything. Yes, I will. I will rip anything. So I don't know if this... Ted Williams? I don't know. So we've got Hal McRae. 1984. Interesting. This was 82. Guess not. Ron Oster. Larry Parrish. We were just talking about Steve Garvey last week. Steve Garvey. And Lance Parrish. So we'll put... Uh, I'm not covered. If, you, if you're going to cover one of these guys out here, you got to have something better than... Uh, Steve Garvey. So let's see what we get here. So is this a movie? Don't know what we're going to get here. It is a complete mystery. But it's 1984, so. Oh, all right. What the crap is this? Oh, Sergeant Pepper Lonely Hearts Club Band. But it looks like uh, the Bee Gees. 
And this was like from 1978. So, okay, all right. The Lonely Hearts Club Band in Concert. So, the Lonely Hearts Club Band were actually the Bee Gees. I never watched the movie. Some of you guys are a bit like... Future Villains? Wow. It's like... Barbarella and Logan's run on acid. Not that I know what that's like. Don't do drugs, kids. Leaving Heartland. Preston the Weather Vane sings Get Back. Maurice Gibb is Bob Henderson. Little known fact is I can actually do falsetto. I'm not going to do it right now. I like that, though. The Bee Gees. Who'd have thought I'd pull a Bee Gees card? Ah, that's funny. I hope I don't get, like, seven packs of Bee Gees, though. That would be disappointing. I'd be like, oh, gosh. At least give me, like, an Empire Strikes Back or Return of the, Return of the Jedi or something. Maybe a chance for something else there. Uh, more Sergeant Peppers. Strawberry looks on as Billy performs. All the benefit for Heartland. Heartland has become Sin City. Wow. Father Son's Temple of Electronic Cosmology. Ugh. And they, they do like a thing in the back too. Wonder if any of these are worth anything. The Benefit Parade. The Grand Lifestyle at BD's Mansion. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going back to baseball. This has got to be like the weirdest hack. If I would have, yeah, if I would have spent a dollar twenty nine on this, which unfortunately I spent a lot more. Uh, back in the 80s, and this is what I got out of this pack. I'd have been ticked off. It's like, yeah, you're not getting Star Wars, you're getting Sergeant Pepper. Speaking of, we got Richie Zisk, John Lowenstein. I wonder if they had a Mattingly that, that year. That'd be really cool. Mr. Dusty Baker. All right, Rhino Sandberg. Cover the look at that. Year after his rookie, Carney Lansford. And we'll look at the back here. So they've got that. Wait a second. Dusty. Oh, is his real name Johnny Baker? <laughs> well, hey. Now you know. And knowing is half the battle. All right. So, we're going through some crazy packs here. BMX. Speaking of, when I mentioned Rad, have you guys ever seen that movie? It is Rad, actually. When they're, like, in the the, the dating, they're both on BMXs, the guy and the gal, and they're playing Send Me an Angel. There's some good stuff here. Oh, we got a Schwinn. We got a Schwinn. So what do we got? Ah, oh, gosh, for the love of Pete, we can't even get... I think it'd be funny if they had the... Uh, the bike from Wizard of Oz. Schwinn. Okay, so these are all Schwins. And then this guy is, like, doing a trick. Schwinn BMX action. Okay. Wow, Huffy Racing. I don't know about you guys, but Huffy was not, like, a cool brand. What year is this, anyway? I don't even say it here. This is a card with just a freaking bike on it. I... <laughs> I just, I don't know. It's like, uh, it's like the dark web of eBay to buy this stuff. What does this say? Raleigh Air, 
Born Division. It's actually kind of a cool card. Okay. Okay, so now we have another portrait of a bike. I'm going to guess that they didn't have a BMX traded series or next year. Because with the action shots that they're doing here, I'm thinking this might be it. So, you know, if you guys like this stuff, you know, let me know. I'll make sure to get you some of this, this action over there. I mean, where are we going to get the, the Gibb brothers? Oh, boy. We got another Sergeant Pepper. Maurice Gibb performing in Heartland. We already got that. We you can get doubles. The original Sergeant Pepper Lonely Hearts Club band. Paul Nichols as Dougie Shears. The demo record. And a balloon. Okay. All right. I'm thinking right now, if you're still watching this, you are either A, a glutton for punishment, B, a fan of puppy bikes, or C, like a true fan of everything that gets ripped. So, maybe. Oh, look at that. Paul Molitor. That's cool. Sorry, Luke. John Lowenstein. Freddie Lynn, who's a pretty darn good player. Steve Rogers. And Dickie Thon, which he didn't realize his real name was Richard. Richard Thon. <laughs> All right. Well, now you know. It would be cool if there was a matting in this series. Maybe I'll put a couple of these guys in the back wall. They show up nice. Oh, hey, we got we got uh, stuff flying around. We got the Murph, Dale Murphy. Well, the one thing is, is you probably don't have all these cards. If you're a collector, unless you, you bought a bunch of giant ones. So these will be ones not everyone has. Jack Clark. Another Freddie Lynn. Billy Buckner. And Jim Clancy. Let's open another pack of baseball cart. So the question of the day, if you're still listening, still watching, which I really appreciate. That helps the algorithm. All right, got another Hall of Famer, Burt B. Home by 11. Look at that. Take that, BGs. Reggie Jackson, I must kill the queen. Look at that. Slugger. So a lot of a lot of Hall of Famers here. I, I don't know how big the set is. And what do you research on? Huh? Jordan Hendricks. Other Bill Buckner is flying down. And Chris Chambliss. And I bet you didn't know his real name. God given name is Carol. Carol Chambliss. So I'll try to open. Put a pause on this and open a bunch of them at once here. One back. All right. I just. Cracked a couple of these at once. The speedster, Willie McGee. Look at that. Ted Simmons on the Brewers. Another Brewer there. Oh, look at that. Share the hustle. Well, I'll tell you what. A lot of uh, uh, Eddie Murray. Look at that. A lot of Hall of Famers. Yes, and you're a Hall of Famer too, Harold Baines. 
Whether you deserve it or not, you're there. You're like, why does this guy hate Harold Baines? I don't hate Harold Baines. He just doesn't deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. And the guy played for 20 years, and he's got the same war as Don Mattingly, who had, like, five good seasons. I don't know. He just... I guess sometimes it pays to be friendly to um, folks in the uh, the press corps. Um, Mike Schmidt. Look at that. That's kind of cool. He's Hall of Famers everywhere. Tom Seaver. Yeah, this has got to be a short set, but I don't know how Tom, uh, Jim Clancy gets in there. I was going to call him Tom Clancy. It's like when he's not pitching, he's writing great books about submarines. Another Burt Blylevin. Doug Dissensays. You can say whatever you want. There is a lot of Hall of Famers in this package. They're nice cards, too. They certainly make good uh, decorations. Larry Parrish. Another Garvey. i got to move this back. These things are so big. Kent Herbach. The Hawk, Andre Dawson, and Lance Parrish. That's cool. Let's put this up against um, a normal card here to kind of give it some perspective from last week's. Actually, it's not last week's. I didn't do this one yet. Spoiler alert. When I do the 85 tops, I pull the Tommy Lasorda. But kind of gives you some perspective on the size of these things. So, I just wish that there was a Don Mattingly in here. But, you know, like the Rolling Stones say, you can't always get what you want. Johnny Castino. Tony Pena. Dave Rigetti. Ooh, look at that. I like that. George Brett. And Gary Vegas. We got two of my favorite players. Actually, a bunch of my favorite players here. Look. Like, just thinking of all like my favorite players growing up early on. Because obviously like King Griffey Jr. and Bo Jackson a little a little too early for them. But uh just trying to think here. What else we got? We got we got Brett and Molitor, Rose, Sandberg. Like it. Make it a lot. We got cards everywhere. Cards everywhere. Dogs and cats living together in mass hysteria. Dead rising from the grave. You know, I use that line a lot. I like Ghostbusters. Speaking of Ghostbusters, do you guys remember that, like, there was actually two Ghostbuster cartoons? Like, one was, like, the real Ghostbusters, and the other one was, like, the one from kind of like the T uh, the movie? Anyway. I digress. Buddy Bell. Terry Kennedy. Sweet Lou Whitaker. Hey, we did get a Ken Griffey. Look at that. Nice. We have an all-star checklist. So those are only 30 cards. There's got to be more than 30 cards in there. Oh, there's a back on it. 60 cards. So let's see what we got here that we're missing. We're missing Nolan Ryan, Ricky Henderson, Cal Ripken, Wade Boggs, Steve Carlton. Just looking at like Hall of Famers we're missing here. We got Molitor, Jackson, Herbeck, Murphy, got Sandberg, Schmidt, Rose, Seaver. Missing Jim Rice. So we're actually only missing, like, Jim Rice, Boggs, and Ricky Henderson. So that's pretty cool. We got most of them. Got to get myself a Ricky, though. Can never have enough Rickies. I think Ricky would even say that. Ricky thinks you need more Rickies. Pedro Guerrero. Fernando Mania. Ah, look at that. Ricky Henderson. That's an awesome picture, too. You know, Norman, well, he's stealing second after this. That's cool. Oh, 
and we got a yount. That's some, some definitely some awesome, awesome cards here. Um, they may be worth a nickel a piece. I don't know. I would imagine that the Henderson might be worth a buck or two. Seems like for whatever reason, oh, he's a great player. Hey, all right. You know, just for that, I'm going to have 100 beers and a bucket of chicken the next time I play baseball. Wade Boggs. That is awesome. Andre Dawson. Hey, we got Nolan Ryan. All right. I think we're only missing, like... That's an awesome, that's an awesome card. Jack Clark. We got one pack left, I think. Jeez, I think we just about got every card out of that set. It'd be funny if they just got you enough cards to get the whole set. And I apologize for opening these up off camera, but they're ginormous. Another Eddie Murray. Another Harold Baines. John Castino, Tony Pena, and Dave Rigetti. All right, well, hey, that's it for that one. Let's open up some more of these, and hopefully we get something better than Sergeant Pepper on this one back here. Let's see what we get here. I've seen some of these in the 70s go for a decent amount of money. Um like packs and you don't know what you're going to get. So we got some more Sergeant Pepper here. B.V. Brockhurst by Donald Plaisance. It's interesting. I think he's like, I think he's been in like, um, wasn't he? He's like the dude from Halloween that is like the, the detective, I think. I don't know. Tell me if I'm wrong. And there are the Gibb brothers there. You gotta love that hair, though. I mean, you oof, you gotta work on that. All right, let's open up another pack of those bikes. I'm excited about the Ricky Henderson. I like him and Nolan Ryan facing off. That is some good stuff right there. Hear the comic book guy now. Worst pack ever. Oh, well, that one's that one's shot. That's probably got the best value out of them all. Look at this kid. Huffy Racing. Schwinn. T. Murray. Hutch. He's got a van shirt on. I don't know who Hutch is. You guys know who Hutch is? Woody is one of the top freestyle riders in BMX. He feels the neatest thing about freestyling is you can do it anytime, any place. Wow. Okay. Well, I have a Hutch rookie card, so I know what you're thinking. You're like, wow, this is a great pull. Probably going to make the top 10. I'm going to open one more of these packs here, hoping that it possibly could be something besides Sergeant Pepper. And someone out there is like, oh man, that's my favorite movie of all time. That's awesome. Fantastic. I am really happy for you. Dr. Maxwell Edison. Huh. That is interesting. Yeah, I thought it was Steve Martin. Interesting. Well, that's kind of cool. Steve Martin rookie card before the jerk. BD and Lucy ready to meet the Lonely Hearts Club band. 
the Henderson brothers. Hello, Sandy Farina, Strawberry Fields. She's old enough to meet her grandma. Hey, Earth, Wind, and Fire. And for you fans of the TV show Chuck, the fourth member is Rain, Earth, Wind, Fire, and Rain. At the benefit concert. Okay. Well, definitely um, a... A... Um, what do you want to call that? A... a walk down memory lane we'll put the steve martin up there and just because like the name is on there we got it you know it's like okay all right hutch you get it up there but some pretty darn cool 84 don ross cards this is probably one of the strangest rips huh. like the grateful dead song what a what a long strange rip it's been <laughs> um anyway um i probably need to go to bed here ah uh, <laughs> getting a little punch drunk but once again thank you for joining um it was pretty awesome just to open some random cards up with you guys um you guys are the the absolute best love to hear your comments and if you have any like random cards out there that aren't sports related that you have that you just love for whatever reason just drop them in the comments there um Maybe I'll try to add them onto a show sometime. Anyway, stay safe and God bless.